All right, what's up, everybody? We have a, we have Mr. Bit, part of our program for a long, long time. How are you, how are you doing? Introduce yourself. Where are you from? What's your name? What do you like to do in the, on the weekends? Tell everybody. <laughs> How's everybody doing? My name is uh, Bill Pearson. I'm from Massachusetts, uh, mainly from, grew up in Springfield, work in Aguam, but live in Worcester, so all over the, the state. Um I work full time. Uh, I actually go to school full time. I have two kids, a wife, hang out with the kids all the time, play basketball, go to their events, stuff like that. And then uh, me and my wife and kids, we we love traveling, whether it's traveling for just two days or traveling for a week to two weeks. Whenever we get the time, we love going all over the place. Yeah, Bill's a great guy to meet in person. He's even better than on the computer. He's a fun guy to get drinks with him and his <laughs> wife. So if you ever see him on the streets, buy him a drink. It'll be on time. Uh, <laughs> But cool sports cards. So walk me through the beginnings. When did you join the program? Did you know anything about sports cards? Have you ever tried it? Was it really completely new? Completely new it? Practical? Did you think think it was the greatest thing ever? Tell me the beginnings. Well, uh, I mean, obviously, just like every other guy that loves sports, we I started collecting sports cards when I was a kid with my father and my 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 older brother. Um, just because I was the youngest and I didn't really know much, uh, I kind of got all the junk wax that we see today and i actually still have many boxes of those from when i was a kid um nothing worth anything though um but then yeah, it goes. i got injured i got injured at work uh during covid and i was sitting around and had nothing to do so i pulled out those boxes and i started going through all my my stuff that i had and some of the stuff i collected over the years here and there and then uh i, I was like god oh, you know what i'll buy some boxes or rip some boxes and started you know buying brady cards because i'm a huge tom brady fan and then my wife's like uh you're kind of getting a little crazy why don't you uh sell some of these i'm like yeah i'll get around to it never really got around to it and then one day uh, we had another conversation about selling them so i started listing them you know raw cards up on ebay and i'm like there's got to be an easier way to sell these things because it was just difficult taking one picture front and back you know on a stand yeah it was was very selling things for like a buck a piece like it was it was it was ridiculous and then uh so i started searching up the internet trying to find ways to sell sports cards a little bit easier a little bit more you know efficiently and that's how i came across you and mlp so i inquired into it Uh, i spoke with one of your reps uh, i'm pretty sure his name was john at the time this was back in january of 2021 or maybe Mm -hmm. december late december early january of 2021 um and I, I fell in love with the idea. I mean, definitely skeptical about, you know, the initial investment, as I'm sure everybody who has joined the program um, has been. But uh, I kind of jumped in with, with both feet, watched all the videos, uh, made all the mistakes that you told me not to make, but still still <laughs> had to learn the hard way because that's just who I am. Yeah. yeah. I mean, going back to the skeptical thing, I mean, random random kid there 26 years old old on the internet what could go wrong right <laughs> <laughs> well yeah especially when you hear all the all kinds of stuff on the internet you know the internet yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah i don't yeah I, yeah if i if i saw myself on the internet i, I might even think my i'm a, I'm a scam up so um but thankfully i'm not i'm not or at least i don't um but cool so skeptical got into sports cards buying tom brady stuff Sorry about the Patriots right now. As a Jets fan, it makes me happy to see them two and two and nine. <laughs> I'm two sure. and ten now, I think. Yeah. Thank God they're finally bad. Uh, you're like only yesterday. a true fan, though. You're only a true fan if you're with them through you know thick and thin, the tough times and the good times. And we're just, you know, back in the 80s, we had some shitty times, but now we're we're having we had some good times for a long time, but now we're back in those rough times again. So it is what yeah, it is. Well, as a Jets fan, it's always been rough times. So I guess I'm the most loyal person ever. Um, but all right, so skeptical made all the mistakes uh why don't you say what a few of those mistakes were then kind of go into to the successes what to do to be successful talk maybe some cards you flipped specifically give some, some specifics some money you've made made uh walk me through that okay um so like some of the you know obviously like when i when i was first joining the program skeptical about the initial investment but the one thing i had about it is like I like to gamble, you know, and I'd buy scratch tickets from time to time. Yep. And the thing about <laughs> yep. buying scratch tickets is you win or lose no matter what. So it's either you win, you know, you never win big, obviously, with scratch tickets, but you win or lose no matter what. 
and I kind of like related that to sports cards in the early beginning of it. Cause my thought process was at the very least, based on what you explained in the program of buying a raw card and then, you know, inspecting it and sending it off to get graded. And if it doesn't grade, you still have a product, whether it's, you know, it may not be a 10, it may not be perfect, but it's still something that you can sell to make some money back. So it's never a total loss. So that's kind of how I related it in the early stages. Um, but I watched all the videos and even some of the things that you told us not to do, like prime example, ripping packs, ripping packs is, is a, is a, you know, can't be relate can be related to a scratch ticket just as much as anything. You, you, you hardly ever win. Yeah. You can still sell these raw cards for a buck, two bucks a piece, but it's not what you're looking to do. You're looking to buy, you know, a high, higher end card, even if it's only a $50 card grading it for $19 and then selling it for 150 bucks like once it grades out. So that was, I didn't really do that in the beginning and um, I was still buying packs and, you know, from time to time, I, I still do it. Like, it's just, cause it's fun. Like it's a, it's a, it's, even though I know it doesn't pay, I still do it cause it's fun. But um, I didn't, I didn't do, I didn't, I bought a lot of shit, shit in the beginning. Um, I was told to talk, talk to listen, talk to my coach, think, send things to my coach, you know, Joe DiMatteo, he's a great guy. Uh, he was awesome. He told me, don't do this, do that. And, I still did it and I still made the mistakes and it, it, it cost me in the, in, in the beginning, but over a period of time, I self-reflected and I realized that I was the one making mistakes. I wasn't listening to what I was told, being told to do. I wasn't, you know, essentially following the program that I paid for. And that's why I made, that's why I wasn't really making money. And then um, I started making some changes and some things started developing and, I started making making good money. A, a prime example, I think I talked to you last year sometime, and you said, "Hey, you know, we want to get rid of all the football cards before August." And some things happened. I started selling them in July, which was actually worked out to end of July, which actually worked out really well. Um, me and my wife were traveling. I bought a Kenny Pickett autograph card um, for four hundred and seventy five dollars. I graded it for seventy five bucks, so I'm into it for five hundred and twenty five dollars. I actually sent it off to uh, Matt Sellers um, to inspect it and grade it for me. I'm into the thing for four, $525. It grades a 10. I end up selling the thing for 1300 bucks. I was nice. like, you know, that's, that's exactly what you preach in the program every single time. Um, another one, uh, j basketball season. I did the same thing. I was buying early during the off season. I was getting them graded and sure they came back before you know, before the preseason games even started. Um, so I, I bought a Jamar, uh, Jabari Smith Jr., uh, orange of 25. I paid uh, 385 for that thing. I graded it for 40. So I was into it for what, four, 425? Yeah, I, I sold it for like 830 bucks. You know, completely Beautiful. doubled my money Beautiful. all the way around. Um, and then I... I I still do like a lot of the lower end stuff for the, that, that market that's out there where, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll grade a $10 card for 30 for $19. I'm into it for 29 bucks and I sell it for $75. I do that all the time. You know, so you, it's, you can go from low, lower end stuff, you know, 10, 15, $25, whatever you can go $500 cards. You can go thousand dollar cards. It just all depends on what your budget is and it, and it works out. I try to mix it up as much as I can. So that way I'm not committed to one, one field. You know what I mean? But it, the program works. If you follow it, if you, if you watch the videos, you listen to the videos, you utilize the coach the way, the way you're supposed to, the program works. Sweet. What, 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 what sales numbers? Like, I'm curious, like your sales numbers in 2020 and 2023 sales numbers from when you started uh, roughly, probably don't have an exact number, but roughly. Uh, year to year? Or, sure, or year to year. Uh, so last year, I think I had about um, 25,000 in sales. Um, this year I have probably 30, 35,000. Um, but my inventory is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I, I'm curious. What would you say? Let's say you, let's say you sold right now. If what, I what, sold everything that yeah. I have since I started the program, I'd pre probably be well over a hundred, hundred and twenty thousand dollars. I have got a, a lot, of, got a lot of cards then over there. <laughs> I probably have about at least $60,000 in cards of uh, graded Tom Brady tens 
that I graded use, utilizing the program um, for my personal collection. It's just, uh, you, know, okay. you know, you, you, you preach, sell, 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 make that money. Um, but when I initially got into this, I got into it as a hobby. I wasn't doing it as to make money, but yeah. uh, I, it's, it's very lucrative. I'm, I do very well. Um, very satisfied with how much money I make and the program has literally paid for my hobby. I've never taken a dollar from my, my family and um or the house you know well it, it, it's it helps out a lot and i have a lot of beautiful. fun doing it beautiful beautiful and what would you say out of curiosity since doing this in the past two years uh, you may have already mentioned it but what card have you, made, have you made the most amount of money on one single card one single card um was it the, was it the ticket i feel like i no, i had one uh that was more than that that i sold for like 1800 bucks um I think it was, was it a, was it a it wasn't a teal purdy was it no was no it? it was not no, well that wasn't yeah. um it was uh i want to say it was uh carlos colmenez orange out of 25 okay autograph. what'd you what'd you buy that one for um if i remember cor correctly i i bought it for like three three or four hundred bucks yeah it was like three or four hundred bucks I had no clue who the guy was <laughs> um I, I looked it up and i was like wow this is no, no. I looked at, I had no clue who the guy was and that's why I ended up paying three, 400 bucks. I looked it up. I looked at all the comps and that's what he was going for. I ended up sending in to get graded at the, um, I believe it was the $75 level at the time. And just cause I, just cause of the way the season was, I wanted to get it in quicker to, to sell it. And then when it came back from PSA, they actually upcharged me to $165 because at the time that I was grading it, if it would pop the PSA 10, it would have been, I would have, I would have sold it for about 800 bucks. Then when it came back from PSA, it was valued at $1,200, a PSA 10. So that's why they upcharged me to 165. And then when, when Matt Sellers consigned it, he sold it for $1,800. And that was probably my biggest profit. You know, what, what's that almost four times more than what I paid for the card? Very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's with, with the grading. That's, that's excellent. That's that's awesome. That's yeah, great. But um, time, timing, timing was everything. You know, sometimes you got to pay a little bit more to get graded to to make the money a little bit sooner. Yep, hundred percent. Yep, timing is a big thing. And I'll leave it off with this: if you had to, you know, this is, we're gonna post this on YouTube. If you had to give one piece, one piece of it to someone getting into the getting into sports sports cards camp program. Um, Forget that. But just one piece of advice. Of advice. What would you say? Um, be 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 persistent, but be repetitive and and listen to your coaches. If you do, um, if like you guys say all the time, if if you if you stay consistent every single week, you're looking at if you spend just even you know 20, 30 minutes a day, you buy one card a day. You send four to five cards off a week. You inspect those cards with your coach. Your coach says they're good to go. You send them off. You're going to make money every single time. It's 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 a no-brainer. So you just got to be consistent, be persistent, and listen to your coach and watch every single one of those videos. Just don't do it once. Watch them over and over again because you don't you don't remember any of the information just by watching it one time. Yeah, you got to watch yeah. them time and time again Just and, and just stay with it. Stay with it. Cool. Well, I appreciate it, Bill. Thank you so much for your time. Um, this will be, be posted everywhere we could. So if you start getting messages, um, just know it's probably from this video asking, how'd you do that? How'd you just make so much money with cards? Um, but, I but I appreciate it, Bill. And yeah, thank you. No problem.